What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 77th Jailbreak Update episode and man, this past week has been super exciting for the Jailbreak community. We got the full Uncover iOS 12 Jailbreak exactly a week ago today and since then there has been so many new tweaks. There have been so many new tweaks inside of Cydia. There have been so many updates, a lot of old developers coming back to update their tweaks. It's just a beautiful site. It really feels like the Jailbreak community just never lost its stride at all. But anyways, in this video, we're gonna be talking about all those people who probably weren't excited this past week because their device was not supported. And of course, we're talking about the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 6, and all the A12 iPhones, the iPhone XS, XS Max, and the iPhone XR. So we're gonna talk about when we can expect them to be supported on Uncover and have a fully working jailbreak with Cydia and everything. And I just wanted to let you guys know exactly where we stand with support on these devices because I get so many questions on a daily basis asking me when A12 is gonna be supported. I get them everywhere in comments, on Twitter, on Instagram, Instagram everywhere so I needed to make this video just to set the record straight of where we stand for now and to let you guys know when we can possibly expect support for those devices all right so we did know all along that a12 and also a7 and a8 devices were not going to be supported at first Pwn made this very clear on Twitter and he did say that he was going to have support for these devices shortly after the initial release which again was only one week ago today so it hasn't been that long so you know you shouldn't be getting very impatient at this point because it's only been a week but even though it's only been one week since release release, Pwn to Own and the Uncover team has released plenty more beta updates. They've been updating Uncover pretty much every day at this point, just fixing a lot of things, making it more stable, making it easier and more successful to jailbreak, you know, in earlier tries. We also now have partial 4K support for the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6. And you can see that those A7 and A8 devices do have support by looking at the changelog here on the GitHub page for Uncover. It says enables 4K A7 and A8 support on iOS 12 to allow setting a and disabling auto updates. And you can see those are betas 37 and 38. Both of those are mainly aimed at the 4K devices. So yeah, a lot of people got excited when they saw that there was partial support for the iPhone 5S and 6, but as you can see from the changelog, it doesn't mean you have Cydia. You don't actually have a full functioning jailbreak. Really, the only thing you're going to be able to do, like it says, is disable auto updates, and also you can set your knots. So besides that, you can't really do anything else at the moment. But the good news is that Pwn to Own and the Uncover team are done with their part for 4K devices. So the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 6 are going to have full a full jailbreak. They're going to have Cydia and Substrate and everything once Sorik fixes a very small bug and issue inside of Substrate. You can see here that Pwn says Cydia Substrate is currently having a little issue on some 4K devices. Full 4k support will be released as soon as the issue is fixed and then somebody on twitter asked if the same bug exists for a12 devices and pwn said a7 a8 and a12 although a12 needs additional work too for pac so like i said once sork fixes this bug with substrate on 4k devices and apparently it's on a12 devices as well but once he fixes up this update we're going to have full support for the iphone 5s and the 6 and then shortly after that we're going to have an uncovered jailbreak for a12 devices so of course we don't get etas for anything like this we don't really know exactly when it's going to be released but based on how fast pwn to own and the uncover team have been working and just flying through these betas I would say it's not going to be very long at all. And of course, you guys know that I will tell you on Twitter immediately when 4K support is added. And then, of course, the same with A12 a little bit later down the road. Now, Pwn to Own has been doing something pretty cool with his Twitter profile. So he'll actually change his name on Twitter to show kind of where he stands with, you know, his progress on a jailbreak. Like, for example, before the jailbreak was released, he would say is preparing Uncover for release and, you know, would say he's releasing Uncover. He would kind of just change it, you know, very randomly at random times and quite often, and it was kind of a way to let us know his progress without him actually putting out a public tweet, which is pretty interesting. And of course, now he's still doing the same thing with updates on 4K devices and also A12 devices. And you can see his Twitter name now says, Pwn to Own is experimenting with Uncover for A12. And of course, this will change as he makes more progress on the Uncover jailbreak and when he's about to actually release it to the public. So just keep an eye on his Twitter profile name if you wanna know his exact status without having to rely on him publicly tweeting something out. And based on this status, it also tells us that he has no other other work to do for 4k devices again it's all on sork at this point pwn to own and the uncover team's job is done he's moved on to a12 while we wait on sork for 4k device support and even if we don't have an updated version of uncover and a full jailbreak with Cydia and substrate and everything for a12 devices we could actually be getting a rootless jailbreak before that time you can see here that jake james tweeted out so there are a few minor issues on a12 due to the new architecture but code injection works fine and thus rootless jailbreak will be ready after that 
pretty nice to see multiple people updating my stuff when I'm busy with other things. Now, of course, we did have a rootless jailbreak released before the actual uncovered jailbreak with Cydia and everything, and you guys kind of got a sneak peek as to what that's like. So with this rootless jailbreak, you're gonna be able to install tweaks and everything, but you're not gonna actually have a package manager like Cydia or anything like that. So it's gonna be a lot more complicated to actually install tweaks and get them running and everything, but you will be able to do so if you just have no patience and can't wait for Uncover to be updated. Like I said, it does take a little bit more technical work, but the good thing is you can't really fully mess up your device. So it's not really a terrible thing to do. I wouldn't you know, advise you not to do it. I say do it, just don't overload it with tweaks but we will get a rootless jailbreak for the 2018 iPhones. It's looking like before the uncovered jailbreak. But yeah, speaking of tweaks, if you guys did miss my top tweaks video, the very first episode of the fourth season, I uploaded it earlier this week, I believe on Monday. So if you did miss that video, definitely check it out. It's up in the cards and down in the description below. And if you have a 2018 iPhone or an iPhone 5S or an iPhone 6, and you wanna know some tweaks, definitely save that video for later, add it to a playlist or something like that. So you can watch it once you jailbreak your device. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to give you a quick update on A12 and also A7 and A8 devices because I've been getting a ton of questions about it all over on social media. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Of course, subscribe as well for a lot more jailbreak content, doing updates. I'm going to continue with the top tweak series and much more. And of course, if you do like seeing a variety of content, I do also have the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and the S10e coming in next week as well. I will be doing some comparisons between those two and also the iPhone XS Max and the iPhone 10 R. So definitely stay tuned. Lots of content coming very soon. Hope to see you guys in all of those videos. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you soon.